I got an email from a gentleman asking if he could send me something to take measurements off of. I said sure, and this is the box I got. I didn't expect it to be quite this large. When I opened it up, this is what I found inside. It's an airplane head and cylinder. It wasn't till a later conversation with this guy that he told me these parts were pretty much irreplaceable. So I got my measurements as fast as I could and got it right back in the mail. I did not want to be responsible for this thing. Anyway, we're going to make some flanges, some intake flanges for this. There are 12 cylinders, so we need 12 pieces. Let's make some parts. First, we need a fixture plate. We indexed both corners and then we cut a nice square corner on the two sides and now we're indexing again and everything else we do can be referenced from that milled corner giving us a known reference so here we're drilling mounting holes and I lost some footage but I cut some holes in this it's not necessary for the fixture plate but the uh, same gentleman asked me if he could have something to practice his welding on. So I figured, well, we got to make a fixture plate anyway. Might as well go ahead and put some holes in it and he can use that to do his practicing. So here's our blank. We're drilling for uh, the studs to go through. This is a 5 16 inch drill. Should be just enough room to clearance over those studs. And now we're cutting the bores. It's a 3 8 inch 2 flute steel end mill. 28.54, 20 inches a minute, and 0 0.06 depth of cut. And now we're cutting a shoulder so that the tubes can be recessed before they're welded in. And our finished pass, 4,000 RPM, full depth of cut, and 20 inches a minute as well. So now we take our fixture plate, and after we've indexed it again, now we bolt our blank to the fixture plate, and now we can cut the outside perimeter. Not the most efficient toolpath I know, but I didn't catch it till after the fact and it's not a high enough production for me to go back and make those changes. Same speeds and feeds here as we use for the bores. And here we got a finish pass. I like to use WD-40, seems to give me a better finish than just using the coolant. So let's get one off there. That looks pretty good. So let's try it out on the head and see how it fits. That looks pretty good. I think that's going to work. So here they are, all 12 of them. Here's a section of the tube he sent me to get measurements off of. Got a nice snap fit, so when he goes to assemble it, it should work well. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.